<laughs> what up, what up, what up? Welcome back to our channel, guys. I'm Rod. I'm here with my dad. Rod Senior. And we are Bridging, Bridging the, the Gap. gap. Your sort of boys is back with another fire reaction video for you. <laughs> If you enjoy our reaction videos, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Also, drop a comment and let us know what we should react to next. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every single time we drop a new video. And if you like our videos but you want to see the uncut, unedited versions, then check out our Patreon. The link is in the description. You know, I, I just I was cracking you up, right? Yeah. That's the great thing about dads, huh? Right. Because <laughs> no. you cracked me up on the last That's one. That's one, one of the so. perks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There you go. There you go. I'm fulfilling my obligation. Shout out, Dad, for being a dad. <laughs> you the man. All right. Uh, so, oh, yeah. And a big shout out to our sponsor of this video. Um, it's Bite. Um, Bite. So check out the sponsor ad. Run it. <laughs> What's up, Gap Gang? This is Rod Sr. from Bridging the Gap. And this video is sponsored by Bite, a teeth aligner company that's helping me bridge my gap. I love Bite because it helps me improve my smile from the comfort of my home. It's all convenient, no dental appointments, all done from the comfort of your home. You're going to love it, and your smile is going to look great. If you would like to improve your smile with Bite, click on the description and order your impression kit. And use code BRIDGINGTHEGAP21, and you can save 80% off of your order. Now, let's get into the video, guys. Thank you for watching the ad and copping some bite. Today, Dad, we are going to be listening to a legendary, iconic, amazing mixtape. Mixtape? Yes, sir. Mixtapes can be very good. I know every time I think about mixtapes, I think about, um, I think about, you know, when I used to be, you know, going to the barbershop mm -hmm. and the guys come up and they had these yeah, 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 yeah. selling out of the trunk of their cars. For sure. <laughs> yeah. That's that's what I mean. Like the word mixtape has evolved mm -hmm. so much over time, but that's definitely <laughs> I remember those days too, for sure. All right. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna play this uh legendary mixtape by uh J. Cole. It's titled Friday Night Lights. It's his third official mixtape. Let's get into it. Friday Night Lights. J. Cole, here's the intro. All right. Seems like the mo some of my most favorite rap songs always have uh, a key element, uh, a major element, the, the piano. Yeah. Piano is very important in rap, I think. Mm -hmm. Music in general, honestly. Exactly. Listen to that, like an echo. It's supposed to be a moment. It's supposed to be a moment. What good is being the one when you're the only one that knows it? <laughs> All right, that is the Friday Night Lights intro. What do you think about that one? Uh, well, he ended it uh, with a philosophical kind of like line. He said, what good is being the one? When you're the only one that knows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's kind of deep. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a great, that's kind of the theme Synopsis here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, <laughs> what do you think about that line? Like, what do you think? I thought it was great. Yeah. And I love the piano. Piano's fantastic. Piano always adds something just so, it seems like it, enhance, it enhances a song. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, this one here. I like the introduction because he's, you know, he's breaking you in gently. I know he's getting ready to bring some stuff. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, I like the intro. Cool, cool. Yeah, that piano always just gives it that, like, uh, dramatic feel and makes it, like, you're feeling it. You're right. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and get into the second track. This track is titled Too Deep for the Intro. Uh, and this is produced by... Too deep for the intro. Yeah. I thought the intro was deep. <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, produced oh, yeah. by J. Cole. Oh, and um, check out the album cover here. What do you think about the the album cover? Oh, hmm. it looks like a player that's uh, frustrated. He might have been just defeated in a basketball game, mm -hmm. and he's like lamenting over the fact that they lost. Maybe I mean I can't imagine that he won the way he's holding his head down and. 
had his head, his hands covering mm-hmm. his head like that. So um, Friday Night Lights. Usually, when you hear about Friday Night Lights, uh, I'm accustomed to them equating that to football. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah, okay. I guess you can equate it to to basketball too. I guess. I mean, you know. Yeah. But yeah, it's a interesting um, cover. Yeah. Uh, I think that's that's a really cool take. I never even thought about that. Yeah, he looks like he's been defeated with his hands, he- head in his hands, and he's looking down. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get into the second track. This is track number two, Too Deep for the Intro, produced by J. Cole. All right. <laughs> this, this dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I knew it was coming, but I didn't know it was going to come that fast. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. Hold on, hold on. You got to catch these, <laughs> you gotta catch these bars, Dad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I caught it, but I just, I, would, I, I don't mind hearing it Here again. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, partially functional, half of me is comfortable, the other half is close to the cliff, like this is Huxtable, these boys got them hostess and clips, they pack like lunchables, like white boys in grade school, while we ate school made food, but we both know that's a bad look, it's 20 years from now, your daughter probably get her ass whooped, look, oh, man. it's too deep for the intro, I find another use, but just in case it's perfect. Let me introduce the intro. If yeah, so, I find another use. I see what use, he means but now. Just in case <laughs> yeah. it's Let Too me deep introduce. It's cold. It was I had a dream, yeah. so I made the move. <laughs> a ill ass nigga who up in that mission's office. Ain't possibly cause all the holes and niggas scrape. A lot of shit up on my plate. So you know a nigga late to my first class. I much rather sit up in first class. Should I admit that a slutty bitch was my first class? Oh! Was it experience? So now nah, I didn't wear it. Always it should have been your first man. I used the ass for practice, so I wasn't scared out my mind. Woo. You call the rhymes, I call it clearing out my mind. Was just a young boy staring out my blinds. Till I got free from my mama leash, running loose through the streets like a straight dog. dog and, heat. <laughs> and we looking for some freaks. Can you play? Pardon yeah. me. What's your name? Don't mistake me for no lame. No, not me. Uh-huh. She knew I was on the team. Cause she seen how just viewed this clown. Uh-huh. At 14, I knew I was the nicest dude around. Oh. I gotta make a move. I gotta do this now. <laughs> they don't know your dreams and they can't shoot them down. That's right. Huh. That's right. That's right. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. He's right. <laughs> so that she made her voice sound almost like Kanye's chipmunk. All right, that's track number two. Too deep for the intro. Dang, about that that one ended there. too quick. <laughs> it was like four minutes. Oh like, yeah. Go ahead. What'd you think? I I love that. I absolutely love that because after we, you know, when the first song uh-huh. and uh, uh we made a comment like, you know, he said well, he said he's gonna. It, this is gonna be deeper than the intro. Right, right, right. And I, I thought the intro was nice. It was like you know, it brought you in, you know, real nice and soft and everything. And then I said, uh, and then he said, this is gonna be nicer than the intro, deeper than the intro. And I was thinking, oh yeah, he's gonna bring it. Mm-hmm. But then as soon as I said he's gonna bring it, and you put the song on, <laughs> the it was like the first line. Right, right, <laughs> he right. he came right in yeah. and started bringing it. So I and I love the the, the flow of the song. Mm-hmm. I like uh, Erica Badu's uh, a touch on that. Yeah, uh, Jay's just killing his bars, man. Yeah, Jay Cole. This was, was like this is this is what I like about him, man. He just so man. He just got you like. Now I'm telling you, this is prior to his debut album. So we, he still that's hasn't prior dropped, to he hasn't debut. dropped a debut album. He's got three classic mixtapes, and this is the third one he dropped. The, he dropped uh, uh, the warm up. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, was this you, the warm up. You said the warm. You said the warm up was before. The warm up is before this one. There's one. The come up. He dropped the come up first. Okay. Then the warm up. Okay. Then he dropped Friday Night Lights, and then that's when is that's when it, it started. But like, yeah. bro was killing it like this on the mixtape. Yo, we was bugging out. We was listening to this. We was just like, all right, man, who is this guy? All right, <laughs> we'll go ahead and move to the next track. 
J. Cole, man. What a oh man. Cole's the goat, bro. Oh man. Man. All right, here's track number three. It's titled Before I'm Gone. It's produced by J. Cole. And yeah, like to the last track, that was like um that's a popular um Erica Badu song. Like he pretty much just kind of like sped it up a little bit and mm-hmm. changed the drums up a little bit. And then he just spliced her parts. Wow, and okay. it sounds real dope the way he did that. Yeah, like, it is. It sounded really good. It, he didn't really like change the original that much. Mm-hmm. Like it's still that same vibe, but he's just spitting on on there fire yeah. anyway track three before i'm gone produced by j cole okay this can this i can't put this on my playlist because it's a mixtape right yeah i'd have to like put it on your phone okay that piano again yeah <laughs> Uh, I hit the weed, I told myself the last time I'll be my last. I don't trust my own niggas, now my mind racing fast. Got my foot up on a gas. You needed a dose of this. Yeah. I can't you tell I'm going through hell? I don't even open my mail. I'm in a shower with no. soap in the towel. I need I need no man. Bitches all on the prayer, they need pinches. Pussy niggas running they mouth and they ain't flinching. And they mm. ain't mentioned. I got dreams bigger than your home. Nice production. Sound like he's got a choir in the background. Yeah. yeah. Doing the ooze. Mm. Yeah. It's raining outside, boy. Fuck a umbrella, niggas banging outside, boy. They guns are dumbbell, nigga. Tired of telling niggas. Dumbbell, nigga. We tired of only having just the peace. That was good. That was good. They killing niggas. What's the reason? His daughter starving and she fucking freezing. So no wonder why he fucking squeezing. They out here busting, leaving niggas stuck and bleeding on the floor. Bullets wet you like your semen on a hose. Oh, whoa. Trying to make the rent next day, you in jail. Lord knows he meant well, so I take the pencil and write like a pen pal. Shit, I'm in the tents upon a windshield. Uh, welcome to Spin Pill. When niggas on base, shit, looking like an infield. Oh, Ours crazy. is Spin Pill. What you think? That's the reason why this ink in my pen kills. Phony niggas till they are extinct, bitch, I've been real. Ah! One time for the city. He's flexing. Hey. He is rapping like, it's like the rent. He's flexing. He's like. He rapping like the rents do. Yeah. <laughs> mean. <laughs> he rapping like he trying to get up out of this situation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. The mold nigga saying, "Cold the wrong one, bringing the city shine." All he ever doing is painting pictures of crime, telling stories of pain, painting pictures of dope. Bitch, if you listen, I'm painting pictures of hope. <laughs> that boy in class, academically gifted and follow my own wow. rules. Was running the streets. Hey, ma, I'll be home soon. Was out chasing hoes. Was out hooping. Them niggas wasn't balling, but yet they was fast shooting. <laughs> so meet the newest role model who don't know how to fake this shit. Never sold a rock and look, like... I made it, bitch. <laughs> yeah. One time for the city. Yeah. Hey, two times time for, for you. you. Hey. Hey. I'm dreaming about you. <laughs> yeah. The beat is crazy. It's so, it's so, it's so crazy. Oh. That production was. I was like. Oh, it was so much going on with that. That was nice, Rod. Track three, Before I'm Gone. That was nice. Yeah. That was real nice. And he just, man, his bars, man, he just, ah, oh, he just <laughs> crush, crush after crush. <laughs> it went crazy. Oh, I love that line in that last song I was wanted you to hear. It. That's why I read it back. His, he says, uh, the Cliff Huxable line of, Oh yeah, I saw that, but I he went past me. Uh, Partial, so much of it partially did. functional. Half mm-hmm. of me is comfortable. Mm-hmm. The other half is close to the cliff, like Mrs. Huxtable. <laughs> so half of him is like in a chill place. The other side, the other half is like on the cliff, ready to fall off the edge. But he's using the, the like Mrs. Cliff, Huxtable. like yeah, cliff, cliff, cliff. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> such a bar. That is. That is. That's such a bar. Yeah. But anyway, he's got a ton of bars in before I'm gone as well. Uh, but yeah, his flow, this beat, everything about this song is so fire. 
It is so far, man. Yeah, you like that line that that guns are dumb bell dumb bella nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. that. He, he has some he has some great lines. The windshield one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh he about his Oh, that was a good line. Where the one shit? Okay. <laughs> so I take the pin cell and write like a pin pal, some shit that's darker than the tents up on the windshield. <laughs> that's hard. I love that, man. Yeah. He just had so many, man. I yeah. was like, oh, oh, he oh. He went crazy. Oh, oh. You know, he just, that, that, was, that was a great song. Yeah. And I just love the way <laughs> that he um, kind of like, writes about like some some real world stuff but like mm-hmm. from a different perspective like normally you hear rappers are just talking about the hood from like you know their perspective or, right you know and some of it starts kinda, to become repetitive repetitive, you know, repetitive and it also like it sounds like they're kind of like promoting that like promoting right. the violence the drugs and everything right. and he's just, yeah and he's it. I feel like he's kind of talking about th- those hometown experiences in a different way. That was interesting the way he was telling the story because he said, yeah, he, you know, he grew up in a trailer and then he ended up in the middle class mm-hmm. and then he was like, you know, you know, just, you know, it, uh, had a better life mm-hmm. uh, that sometime, at one point in time he, they came up. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that was kind of like... All the different, it. different, uh, you know, Perspectives they yeah. Because when he's in the trailer park, he didn't trust his neighbors. Then he moved. That they moved in a better neighborhood, and, and now he's, he's the only black kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, dope. All right, we'll go ahead and move into the next track. This is track number four. This is the back to the topic freestyle. This is produced by Carmelo Famous, Brian Michael Cox, and Mario Winans. That is because it is actually a cover. He's gonna rap over the "Must Be Love" by Cassie instrumental. Um, Cassie and Demi, she's going to be on her. Yep, well, she should have let you know. <laughs> Mario Win- Winans, is he one of the Winans brothers, or just he just his last name is Winans? Uh, I don't know if he has a relationship to the Winans. I, I feel like he he, ha- he would have to. There can't be that many Winans. Yeah. But no, he's a, he, he, he was a singer. He was signed to Bad Boy Records, and he, he's, mm. he, had a couple, he had a couple really good songs. Uh, but yeah, here is track number four, Back to the Topic Freestyle. Vietnam. Oh my goodness. On a place, only on occasion come my mind be racing. Lost in my thoughts, so my eyes be Asian. Asian. Nigga, <laughs> it's gotta be fake. Wow, Post style obviously copied, pasted, plagiarized swag. May yeah. arrive last, but when it's all said and done, I'ma be ahead of them. Way that I describe, they prescribe a nigga medicine. Way that I be fly, I be hiding the jettisons. Moving on up, nigga, hiding the Jeffersons. All about the Benjamins, bad chick cinnamon, basic hoes toss them out. Can't even get Waffle House. Ooh. Hating niggas, talk Waffle about going mm. get the car. Home, what you talking about, <laughs> little man? My shit here burning, you not even Lil Tan. I'm ill enough to kill cancer, baby. I'm chemo down in Miami, and I'm thawed like Marino. Marino. Get a whole ah. lot of you know, and she bald like an ego. No, not up top, but down there. She says she want to hop on top, oh. girl. I don't care. You better she get yours before I reach mine, because then I'm throwing peace signs. <laughs> if you a freak, I can take you to your peak, girl. I do it to the maximum. I say my prayers, because this life ain't fair. A bunch of backstabbing niggas hope the knife ain't there. Yep. A bunch of temptation Facing when your wife ain't there. Yeah. Late at night when I got the phone call and made a right. When my crib was straight ahead, Shotty gave me head. Hit it, then I quit it for she even made the bed. Oh, Damn, I'm no good. Whoa. So good. I'm picturing that body like a camera phone would. Something like Rihanna while I'm up in that vagina. Type of chick that only dress in something that's designer. I could give a fuck long as it's something that's behind her. Got the type of bumper, make a dog wanna hunt. <laughs> Back to the topic. Actually forgot it. Holds money, I'm the shit. Oh yeah, I'm reminded. The way I put the words together, cleverly align them. These other rap niggas should never be a problem, and I'm ghost. Nigga. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Let me hear that. Nah, you crazy. <laughs> That's the back to the topic freestyle. What'd you think that? That nigga went to war. <laughs> that brother went to war, man. Yo, nah, literally like three minutes of straight bars. No hook, no breath. These bars is so fire too, like. And you know, the the <laughs> The cool thing about it is, he was so 
freaking fluid and aggressive with it. Yeah. And he was just like, like a roaring lion, man. Yeah, facts. Dude. The rhyming schemes on here are so fire. I know, I know Cole was good. I I knew from what you've told, what what you've, what you've shown me about Cole. But this right here. Yeah, this is a different level. This is this is when he's like hungry too. Like he's trying to prove himself. Like we've listened to Cole as like a real, like mental artist. Mm-hmm. Like, and his rapping is really good. But on here, he's just, it, it, he's just rapping. Like he's just showing his skill. To me, you, and you say he's hungry. Yeah. To me, he's telling me, it, I'm what I'm what I'm receiving is he's saying, I'm. I, I'm I'm going for the top. Yeah, the top is gonna be mine. That's a fact. You know, that's what I mean. This kind that's of rapping exactly right here, he the like. top is gonna be mine. I'm coming for it. And he certainly did. And he's like bold with it. <laughs> yeah, I think man, he's just going crazy. Uh, so man. just I want to point out, just like okay, so this this first first he goes into the Nan line. Tan, like yeah. a fucking tan line, yeah, yeah. girl. You can't find old mankind. Uh, fuck the whole mankind. Oh no, man, I'm an old landmine. Long damn time, like that. Like and he keep going, like for all of like. And this line is fire. Uh, I'm like an old landmine. I've been waiting to blow up for a long damn, damn time. time. <laughs> yep. That's a bar. Uh, my world, my world, a little darker, like a fucking tan line, <laughs> like. <laughs> oh man. Uh then yeah, he gets into the Asian fake and pasted uh da, 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 da. No, he had another run. I like it when it started right here. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I'm ill enough to kill cancer, baby. I'm chemo. <laughs> Down in Miami <laughs> and I'm throwing throw like burrito. Like get a burrito. whole lot of you know and she ball like an <laughs> eagle. No, yeah. not on top, but down there. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, he went crazy. I'll take you to the maximum. Nissan. <laughs> uh quarterback can get you over like receivers. Da, da, da. Yeah, man. Oh he's man, just, just no, nah, he's just went crazy. Okay, we'll move on because I we can literally break out so many of these bars. I know, man. <laughs> he went crazy. Uh, here's track number five. It's titled "You Got It." This is featuring Wale. Wale is a, a really dope MC that came out of DC around the same time. Uh, you you know, J Cole, Drake, and uh, Kendrick all were around the same class. Okay. Wale was in that class. Big Sean was in that class, and ASAP Rocky was in the same class too. Mm-hmm. But Cole, Kendrick, and Drake have surpassed. Like they're the top three. And then there was the, all these other guys that came around in that same time, which got had solid careers and were really good during the time and throughout time, but they never right. Yeah, you know I mean, and then just reached that yeah that that top pinnacle. Mm-hmm. But Wale, excellent MC, super dope. Mm-hmm. Uh, this titled "You Got It" is produced by J Cole. Track number five. Here we go. All right. Oh. One time, one time, they throw your hands to the sky tonight. Cause I think I see the best thing in the world right now. But I gotta make sure I'm right. And girl, you're dead. Right. If your head right, the emphasis right there, right? You just might change your life. Cause baby, you got, 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 hey, cold world. Real cold world. Nice. I watch it hit the flow and drop it real low, girl. Last time I like seen it, a little yeah. old girl had a crush More now piano. with Tony, and you still so thorough. Uh, the the drums were killing it too. Yeah. You exhausted. I yeah. ain't nothing worse than a bad bitch that lost it. Uh, man, I can hear him saying. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, pop it like you do it in the mirror. Yeah. I'm picking uh-huh. through the crowd, trying to see a little clearer. High heel wearer, uh, hell of a body. The first one to spot you, and I ain't telling nobody. Nope, I'm peeking at your ass, winking at your ass. <laughs> if I don't beg, I'll be thinking about your ass. I for the whole week, your phone number. And let them lanes get your own number. Hey, one time, ah, one time, lanes get your own number. Because I think I see go. the baddest little thing in the world right now. But I gotta make sure I'm right. And girl, you're dead right. If you're head right, I'll be there every night. I every just night. might change your life. Because baby, you got it. 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 Hey. 
Janelle, Janelle. Spot Nation. Wale. Look, uh-huh. <laughs> Wale's way. Still a Wale. Cold Wale. And a couple of y'all is cool, but with your little mo thorough. Okay. Time, a you got a nice sound. You know yeah. what's with that six and it's still no cure. Hola, loud pack Hola. like I got cancer. <laughs> Choking on a white boy's nigga black panther. Let my women wear high heels, the oh. high standards. And Choking on a white boy's nigga black panther. Oh, God. I got that bitch to <laughs> Montclair went a coat. I ain't superstitious. I make all these bras fit my pole. Huh? You dig it? Nail Monet. All right, that is track number five. You got it. Featuring Wale, what would you think about that one? I thought it was a fun song. Mm. You know, I love the beat. I love um, the production on it. They did violins. They did drums. They did piano. They did vocals. They did, man. Yeah. And the and the flow was real good. Would you, did you like it? Yeah, I like that song. And I also like, uh, I love the way they used that Janelle Monae uh, sample. Mm-hmm. That was really nice. Nice touch. Uh, yeah, they all killed it. That was a, I was, you know, what I mean, like I was into it. Yeah, I definitely. I know they made that one for the for the uh, the female demographic, you know. Yeah. So they, you know, because you know he, he's rapping, he's rapping, he's killing all the rapping. But you gotta have some songs on there to make the girls be like, okay, okay yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, yeah. they did a good job. While they did a good job, while they killed it, I yeah. think he did a real good job for sure. No, nah, while they did his thing, you know, that's brave. <laughs> oh, getting on the track with J. Cole? That's a <laughs> yeah, fact. Yeah. I think it was a little less brave back then. Yeah. It would have still true, been yeah. brave because he was killing. <laughs> but I feel like now it's like so well known and documented <laughs> that, that you should be scared to get on the track with J. Cole. <laughs> yeah, but people yeah. still do it. Yeah. So God bless them. Yeah. Uh, next track is titled Vilmatic. This is uh, uh, actually J. Cole rapping on Devil in a New Dress, which we've heard. Uh, on, from Kanye West's um, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy record. Right, right. Uh, but So you might recognize this beat. But yeah, this is Vilmatic, J. Cole um, freestyling over uh, f- over a Kanye beat. This is, this is oh man, here we oh, go. Okay. <laughs> Track number six, Vilmatic. Right, that's track number six, Bill Maddock. What'd you think about that one, Dad? Okay. A lot of things with this song right here. Uh, first of all, I want to give him credit for the production and stuff like that. See, um, as we doing this journey with, you know, bridging the gap with the rap and stuff, now um, as more I listen to it, I see the conflict sometimes with where I draw the line with some of the stuff they do. Mm-hmm. So, production-wise, and the sample, oh, awesome, awesome. But the song, to me, personally, just for me, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm speaking for myself, a little provocative, a little, um, what you call it, um, abrasive, kind of cross the line a little bit sometimes in the song. Provocative in what way? Uh, just his reference to certain things, you know. Um, you know, when he's talking about, you know, spiritual stuff, he's talking about uh, women. Mm. And, you know, he, he I don't know, it, it's street. I mean, I mean, we all, I mean, I grew up with it. I know what it is, but 
to me, this song right here, it was so great. But at the same time, it was like thought provoking, uh, provocative, kind of abrasive, uh, and sometimes even uh, slightly offensive. Mm. Okay. But it's a good song. Yeah, well. I mean, as far as artistically, yeah, the way they created the song. Mm hmm. Okay, but yeah, it's definitely uh, yeah, that's the devil in a new dr- dress beat. So, <laughs> oh, of course, <laughs> yeah, hey, whatever. But anyway, yeah, that that. But Cole, man, um, the thing I like about Cole is he is real. He he does speak from his heart, um, and he's so freaking talented, man. Now, you know, I, I we just got through doing a Drake. Review mm-hmm. and in comparison, I'm just comparing those those two rappers. You know, just th- those two in this in this scenario. This Cole is like, I like him uh, creatively way more than I do Drake. And the reason why is because Cole goes in all in, heart and soul. Mm-hmm. Drake. To me, is not all in heart and soul. He's kind of commercialized. And, yeah, I know, agree. And he's spoiled. He's definitely commercialized. He's, lit, he's he's a lot of the stuff he's riding off. I'm Drake. Yeah, but he ain't putting out like I'm Drake. All right, Cole's Cole. Cole's Cole <laughs> for sure. That's a fact. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number seven is titled "Enchanted," and this is featuring Omen. Uh, <laughs> I, that was one of my favorite movies. <laughs> the Omen? Yeah. I've never seen it. It was like, I think they had like an Omen 1 or 2, you know? Yeah. Um, this is produced by Omen and then also J. Cole as well on the production. So. <laughs> oh, man. I, would be, I wouldn't want to be uh, called Omen, man. Everybody be like, afraid. Don't, don't let him come around. <laughs> <laughs> What's bad, omen? O- omen? Bad things are gonna. Happen. A omen? What is just like a sign, right? Yeah, like it's a, like an omen. It's like something bad's gonna happen. It could be a sign for a good thing, though, right? No, an omen. I'm, well, put it like this: I've never known omen to be associated with anything good. I feel like an omen <laughs> could be like. A, you may want to look up the the, yeah. the, the correct definition of omen because I'm pretty sure it's not associated. with Yeah, it. I know from that movie, it probably yeah, an yeah. event regarded as a potent. A portent of good or evil. It said good or evil. Yeah. Prophetic significance. So, yeah. uh, It could be a good good sign of of good or bad. Right. Okay. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Uh, Here's Enchanted, track seven, featuring Omen. All right. Hmm. I haven't seen a lot of producers on this album. No, it's just J. Cole, pretty much. Wow. So he like to get in there and get gritty, you know. He do his own. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is where the Yeah, this is where the fathers ain't living. At least not with us. Might see around the city and won't even say what's up. What? When niggas play tough, won't even smile in mirrors. And we learn to fuck hoes off trial and error. Just <laughs> a small town nigga, big city hustle, glued to the TV, jigger did he wrestle. Uh-huh. These were our heroes, strictly for them heroes. See, what do we have here now? Do you wanna ride or die? Da, 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 That's a nice chord. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Come with me. One quick scene. Uh, Tupac, Hail Mary. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like that. Let's see, Kai. I know you only do what's best for me. We're trying to go. No, baby. And no, baby. You got to find some hope because I ain't done. My words yeah. don't last forever. You can hold the treasure. Look inside, see a diamond in my mind. I'm tired of seeing dope fiends wiping their nose clean. It's my neighborhood just a smoke screen. Wow. I think I'm in the wow. future, fam. I see low green. Sun's raised by both queens, but it's no kings. No kings. No king. I'm on the same time they blew that boy brains out. Wow. Who will it change? It's like niggas oh. is free, but I'm mine still. The way he change. rapping and the, and the beat, the way the beat's changing right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. So good. A lot yeah, of yeah. niggas getting older, but they never grow up. They do their sons like their fathers did and never show up. Oh. No need to cry about it. Just another episode of life. Watch the whole season, oh nigga. God, no refunds. The devil out here buying souls, nigga. No refunds. Huh. 
man, don't let the city get you. Get lost in this stuff, man. Oh, man. Oh. If the bullets sweat you, bet your mama need a tissue. Your face on the front of our shirt, we miss you. Miss you. Miss you. Another day, another song. A mother prays, another gone. But still we play like ain't nothing wrong. Like ain't nothing wrong, cause ain't nothing wrong. I'm not as fast, I'm not as tall. But before I pass, I got a ball. I got a ball. Oh, that was oh. tight right there. He said, I'm not as fast, I'm not as tall, but before I pass, I got a ball, got yeah, a ball, yeah, got a ball, yeah. got a ball. <laughs> that was nice. Oh, man, that, that is Enchanted nice. featuring Omen. What did you think about that, that one, That was nice, man. Like I said, you could get lost in that song, man. Mm-hmm. It was just so nice. That instrumental is so rich with the pianos and mm-hmm. the string section and that, that man, driving eight away. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then, yeah, their He's lyrics. He's rapping his butt off. Man. Such colorful just lyrics. Just rapping his butt off. Like, it's just unlimited. And they're not just talking about bullshit. Like, they're literally, like, mm. sprinkling in, like, these, you know, uh, you know, these everyday things that people can relate to they, right. from these neighborhoods and stuff. Uh, but just painting that picture and... yeah. You just feel this. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just, and he paints such a vivid picture. You yeah. Know? It's just like, wow. You just, yeah, it's it's a good song. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I like that, and I like that chorus when he was doing the da 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 You know what? Yeah. I like that. Um, but man, his bars, just they were just nonstop. Yeah, he didn't stop. And uh, Omen had a really good verse on here, too. Just yeah. kept the theme going, you know. You know, Omen... When he interjected his part in there, it didn't even seem like it was so seamless. Yeah, like he just belonged there. Right. Yeah, for right. sure. Definitely. Um, yeah, Omen and J. Cole. I wonder where Omen's at because Omen used to be on a lot of J. Cole's earlier stuff. Mm-hmm. All three. I think he's on all three of his first mixtapes. Mm. But then. I think they fell out or something. I, uh, yeah, he, he was never. I don't think he was ever signed to. Like quietly, just they just fell out and just went their own way. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good mm. question. You know what? It's kind of funny, too, because there's this other guy on um, Drake's early, early projects. His name was Nicholas F. Mm-hmm. And he was always on Drake's projects. And they rapped real good together. Ne- Once Drake blew up, never heard from Nicholas F. again. Hmm, that'd be interesting same to do thing. some research on both of those Yeah, guys. for real, for real. That's interesting. If y'all know where Omen or Nicholas F. are at, yeah, that would be interesting drop a comment. No, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the research them. on that. Because they, yeah, they was coming through for their boys back in the day. When they, when, did nobody else want to rap with them? And you then know? all of a sudden they're and gone. Now they blow up. And now, oh, now, now I can't rap with you no How more. these brothers are still, I mean, oh, well, I don't know what happened. But I, I mean, if they did have a falling out or whatever, they'd probably be like, man, dude tripping because he didn't blew up now. <laughs> yeah, he went Hollywood on me. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll go ahead and get to the next track. This track number eight is titled Blow Up, produced by J. Cole. Uh, yep, here we go. Track eight, blow up. Hey, this is a song for my haters. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna be happy, Jack, about it. Song for my haters. I'm about to blow up. Uh huh. Say what? Bitch, I'm about to blow up. That beat is hard. <laughs> I came up, I warmed up the next up. Bitch, I'm about to blow up. Uh, uh. Now, don't it sound legendary? This would be Kanye would make. It's very this Kanye influence. Yeah, yeah. With secondary. This for my sisters who ain't satisfied with secretary. Uh, bitch, I'm about to blow up. Yeah. Okay. This is a song for my haters. Song for the haters. Nigga with no vehicle, you bought it like Mexico. Hey, baby girl, what is it like? Hey, where your hair at? Bought it like Mexico. She say, where your bread at? Or what's your whip like? You ain't got one or the other. Well, brother, good night. What? Bitch, I'm about to blow up. Look, I'm about to blow up. Yeah, got to the club early just to get a friend. Wait for hoes to show up. Man, but now it's bottles at the table. Bring the bottles, boy, I'm about to blow up. 
hear that? Yeah. Hater. Hater. I like what he says there. spiritual how they got these niggas on the tv selling miracles <laughs> you mean to tell me everything gonna be fine if i call your hotline and pay 29.99 <laughs> well damn why ain't you say so <laughs> why'd you say so <laughs> multiply on my pesos and erase my number out the phones of these fake hoes i take the number just oh in case but now goodness. it's case closed to you niggas biting my flows in my subject matter yeah Partner, so it don't fucking matter. You try to be in your career a sea funeral. Oh, his decorations of sea funeral. Then maybe you can blow up. All right, that's track number eight. Blow up. What do you think about that one, Dad? He's talking smack. He yeah. know. He he knows he's about to blow up. Yeah. He can feel it in his bones, man. <laughs> he's like, I'm about to blow up. For sure. So that was a good song, man. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh man, it's like it was so much stuff going on with that song, man. I, 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 I like it. Yeah, that was a good one. That yeah. was a good one. That was definitely, you could tell he was like attempting to go for like a, a radio sounding song. Yeah. But yeah. I like it. I like that song. I feel like it aged pretty, pretty decently. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could just, when I hear it, it definitely just sounds like that time period if it, right. if it makes sense like right. the it type of sense. song that he was going of for of course of course uh but I like it. I like it. it it's cool he he was he was he was uh he was gunning for everybody at that point you yeah. know he's like make room yeah he's he, definitely he talking his shit like oh, hey I'm coming <laughs> yeah. for I'm he, about bold, to blow. he bold about it too I like he's it like I know y'all none of y'all can handle <laughs> hold a candle to me that's a fact <laughs> Where, where? Okay, cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number nine. It's titled Higher. Mm -mm. Uh, and this is produced by J. Cole. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All Here right. is track number nine, Higher. I'm here, I'm about to take you higher. We about to set this bitch on fire. Pour a little gas, fuck up your lighter. You might not be the one, but you the one that I desire. Come here, I'm about to take you higher. We about to set this bitch on fire. Pour a little dun, gas, dun, fuck dun, up dun, your lighter. You yeah. might not be oh, the one, yeah. but you yeah. the one. What up, girl? Tell me how you feel. Go ahead, you with it. Sweet enough to make a nigga need a feeling. <laughs> you got a man, do that nigga need a feeling? Uh -oh. She said, looks chill, and I'm trying to make a killing. Uh -oh. God willing, I be chilling on the boat, nigga. Love is a gamble, I ain't dealing with no broke, nigga. Down in Miami with a super whole team. Trying to bag a brother with a Super Bowl ring. Great, even back then. Thought you was a cutie, though your booty mad then. But you done got <laughs> thicker on the nigga, god damn. Hey, now, I got a thing for you. Uh, hey, it's been man. a long time coming. I should hang with you. Cause see, way back, I thought the fuck with you was impossible. Count your baby daddies now, two in a possible. Oh. Uh, you still got it though. Yeah, you still got it though. Girl, your body looking like a fucking pot of gold. You got your mean little walk with the model pose. You got your head dead. You got designer clothes. You still got it though. Yeah, you still got it though. Yeah. You got your nails dead. Damn, girl, you're on the road. Do you give brains? Did you make the honor roll? Uh -oh. Don't worry about your man, baby. He ain't got a note. Come in, I'm about yeah. to take you higher. We about to set this bitch on fire. Pour a little gas, fuck up your lighters. You might not be the one, but you the one that <laughs> I the joy right here. Yeah. Come in, I'm about to take you higher. We yeah. about to set this bitch on fire. It's like one of those feel good songs. Right? Yeah. Right? Your lighters. You might not be the one. Hey, I get bored, so you might not be the one, but you the one that I desire. Come in, I'm yeah. about to take you we about to set this bitch on fire Pour a little gas, walk up your lighters You might not be the one Yeah Right, that is track number nine. Higher. What'd you think about that one? There, As, uh, that was like a bouncy kind of song. Yeah. You know? That was good though, man. I just, I just love the whole, um, uh, the attitude of that song right there. I yeah. Just, yeah. It was so it was, you know, just 
fun. Yeah, fun, bouncy song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, this is a cool. But the, li- it, the lyrics was nice. I'm about to say, if you, but if you break down the actual <laughs> lyrics of the song, like he's telling a whole story, and it's like, dang, this guy is good, man. <laughs> yeah, he is. I was enjoying it, the whole thing, man. That's the story and everything. So, yeah, that's a good one. And I, then, yeah, um, I haven't heard anything bad on here. So. Another thing I think J. Cole is really good, even in his production, like people have faulted him sometimes at some points in his career saying that, uh, you know, he should let other people produce for him and stuff and like try different things, which he has later in his career. Mm-hmm. We'll get to that. But it, at this point, he's doing all his own beats and every uh, beat has like a really catchy chord progression, mm-hmm. a really catchy beat pattern, like... I mean, it gets caught. Everything gets stuck in your head. Like, well, yeah, well, somebody, yeah, I mean, people's always criticizing about stuff, but apparently, you know, his it, it, he he had his own uh, thought process about the direction he wanted to go, and he went that direction, and that would prove to be very, very, very successful. successful. Very you know, successful. So, so, you know, yeah. Say get, what you want. Yeah. So you know that that song when he's talking about the haters. Yeah. That song <laughs> that was, for them. was for them. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> For the get go, okay, yeah. cool. We'll go ahead, and roll to the next track. This is track number ten. This is titled "In the Morning." In the morning, and this actually marks uh, Drake and J Cole's first uh, collaboration. So we just oh. heard their la- latest collaboration back mm-hmm. uh, a couple days ago, right? Right. With the release of Drake's new album, but now we're gonna hear on the mixtape one of their first okay. interactions together on a mixtape. Well, I'm assuming uh, before I hear the song that. Drake didn't hold back on this one. I'm thinking that he, he was like, at this point, yeah, killing it. Well, we're going to hear. We're okay. going to hear. I don't want to put any preconceived notions okay, in your, okay, in your okay. brain. But uh, this is track number 10, J. Cole featuring Drake. And this is actually not produced by J. Cole. This is produced by LNX Music. Okay. So here is In the Morning. All right. That is In the Morning featuring Drake. What did you think about that one? That whole melody and everything, man. It was just so nice, man. That piano was just, ugh. It was just. I like the lyrics. I like the the the, uh, the tempo of the song. Mm-hmm. It was just like flowing, just kind of like and and you know the bars on here. I was it was just amazing. I was wondering how this was gonna be when you, they showed uh, when you told me. Uh, there was another producer on here. I was thinking. I said, "Well, what what is he gonna do? Yeah, to kind of like put his stamp on this." Mm-hmm. And and he did a good job. He delivered for yeah. sure. Beat is fire. Uh-huh. Drake and Cole, they killed that theme. They're singing. Drake singing on here, fantastic. His verse. This yeah, this is like around that time where everybody they're all just proving themselves. They're all just like coming through with just classic stuff. Like, well, Drake was, I see, this is twice on this album that uh, a featured person just kind of like uh, blended in. Yeah, just seamlessly came seamlessly onto the track. came in, just like Omen, and then didn't disrupt it, but like right. added to it. Right, still, yeah, you didn't. He just he just fell right into it. It was like. Natural seemed like you know, For but sure. that was that was real cool. Such a fire track. That song is classic to this day. That's uh-huh. like one of my favorite songs. I freaking love that <laughs> song. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. If you had some, if you had some shorties back in the day that with this song. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, I can imagine. Yeah, that was the, that was the joy right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's tight, man. That was tight song. That was a joy. All right. Uh, all right. We'll go ahead and move into the next track. This is track number 11. It's titled Two Face. <laughs> and this is produced by Science. Oh. So another guest producer here. Uh, here is Two Face, track 11. I know he can. Hey. Got a dollar in trance. Charlie got so it's about two faces. Hey, yeah, the middle state of a young black gene is conflicted. The fast life I done seen on the screen is addictive. Money and clothes I done dreamed about. Filled with dreams, this is my whole book. Steal the screens from little girls, shot and kill, fill my head on the daily. At times I question God, can you blame me? They can't tame me. My voice screeched through the streets. I'm a beast on them. Oh no, he will not fold. You will not see a crease on him. He will not slip or lose his grip. They got them cleats on him. But never will he run unless you call police on him. Uh-huh. Yeah, 
times, three times. Sometimes I scrap, sometimes I'm throwing up the peace sign. It's two sides to a nigga, though. I said it's two sides to a nigga, yo. Hey, look, sometimes I feel like I forgot high, about this one. Low. Low, will I die? Will I survive? Let a nigga know. You say you know me, but what side did you get to know? It's two sides yeah. to a nigga, yo. Yo, yo. Yeah. Some yeah. pussy niggas put out on me and my man. Wasn't for the pistol, we drop him right where he stands. But still, we never ran. Foolish pride made us stand right there. Not understanding we could lose our life there. And then it hit us. Thinking about the close calls from long distance. Uh, as little niggas in the field, we was tripping. Typing those field. ass niggas to watch the fight until it's over. They ran when the gas came out. I moved closer. Foolish, what was I thinking? Wasn't right. trying to be what coolish. Just a thrill of the danger. Get so filled up with anger when I seem to focus on is all the stress. So me. Wow. Blessed, homie, we breathing. Cold world got me sneezing. Wrote this when I was Cold broke, world. so hey, I guess we Cold even. World got Throwing me blows, sneezing. fighting demons, yeah. trying to stop from busting <laughs> semen in an unfamiliar bitch. I know my niggas feel this shit. How could I fuck her wrong? And I just met the hope. My right. dick took over. It ain't never felt this smart. way before. I'm stressing in my <laughs> mind, but it's way too late to stop it. Make this shit so bad, I had the condom in my pocket. Let's change the topic right. before I go berserk. You don't want to think so about it now, do you? Right at 9 o'clock. <laughs> now I ain't finna go to work. I'm headed back home. Ain't staying that long. Five, hey, oh no. Oh. We ain't got to worry about the money no more. We ain't got to worry how the bills get paid. We ain't got to worry how the bills get fed. Don't cry, hey, oh no. We ain't got to worry about the money no more. We ain't got to worry how the bills get paid. We ain't got to worry how the bills get fed. Hey, hey, hey. I got a nice beat to it too. I like that one. Oh, that's not the end? Yeah. All right, that is Two Face. That's the way that song ended? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was a trip. Yeah, nice little. Uh, yeah, outro. I was th- I, that sounded like it was going into a whole different new song. Well, it actually, it actually is. Oh, okay. That's like, but he. He kind of bridged it. To, okay, mm-hmm. I, I see. I see. That was cool, man. I like this song. Yeah, Two Face. Mm-hmm. That's a good joint right there. Mm-hmm. That's real talk right there. Man. Science on the production, the beat fit J. Cole's aesthetic so well on this. And mm-hmm. I, I honestly forgot about this song. This is a standout for me. Like his bars on here, these verses are so good. Killer. Killer, killer, killer. And again, the way he, you know, speaks about all this real stuff from from people from neighborhoods and stuff and ties it in with his story and uh, isn't like necessarily glorifying it and pushing that agenda, but just telling you about what he's seen and what what people are going through. I like it where he said, ink, ink. I like uh, that stood out to me. Ink from the pen spilling on a notebook filled with. Dreams. This is my hope book. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, man, that's that's true. Facts, that's facts, true. facts. You know, that's that's his lifeline, right? Right, there, you know? right, right, right. His hope book, his notebook. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's for sure. That was good. I love the I love the bars throughout this song. This it song is, is just oh, this is one of my favorite songs off of here for sure. Yeah. Two Face. Uh, okay, so you heard like the outro to that song, and then how it's gonna. I, I'm, I'm gonna pull it back so it can just. Go right into track twelve. Okay, the way it's supposed to be heard. This, uh, you know, so this last Drake album, you know, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, and this one, this one, I, I'm enjoying this one just as well. Yeah. So again, it's, uh, it's a little bit more more rap and more intense, man. It's like for sure. And this is from a whole different era too, if you mm-hmm. think about it. I mean, this Friday Night Lights came out. What did I say? Two thousand ten. Two thousand ten. Oh, that's that's thirteen long. years ago, yeah. and it still sounds. <laughs> Amazing, you know. It so it's funny we listened to Dr- Drake's newest project, and then mm-hmm. this is one of J Cole's earliest projects. So how are you gonna put this on my phone? Uh, I can't put it in my Apple playlist. I can, I can put it on your phone. Cool. Okay. All right. But okay, but it can't go in the Apple playlist. Yeah, it can. Oh, good. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and yeah, I'm gonna pull it back uh, to the um, to, to the, the transition of, of, of yeah. Okay. Next track is track 12, The Autograph, produced by J. Cole. Anything's possible. 
possible. You got a dream like you never seen obstacles. Chasing obscene profits of wings. Oh. For the red lights. Whoa, Look at my red. Yeah. All I see is niggas' headlights. Catch me if you can, hope. They try and sack me and I scramble. Look up in the sky, you see me. <laughs> sack him and he scrambled. Yeah. Don't you see me, man? Making my wishes come true with no genie, man. I got the keys to my beamer with no beanie, man. I'm on these rich niggas. That, yeah, hopping trains wow. up in New York City. You know I gotta thank God. Cause if you won't with me, then I surely would have died. You can throw the fork in me. This my New Year's resolution, dog. No more pork in me. Uh, I ain't no Muslim, no. Karan Butler, I'm a wizard no if you doesn't know. Him. It's young Simba, yeah, I'm ballin' to the buzzer blow. You trying to kick this, man. Man, hey, man, I rap so vicious, but I talk so politely. Right. Never met a baby mama, mama who don't like me. Yeah. Met a couple baby fathers, though, they want to fight me. Yeah, I, I hit it till she snooze like the news, nigga, nightly. Yeah. Send her back to you when she no longer excites me. Oh. Now she bitter with this nigga, because he ain't quite me. Oh. One thing's for certain, baby girl, you are a wife. You a hoe, just made a whole decision. Hey, you can blame oh. it on the liquor like a prohibition. We both know that's what you wanted, girl. I know you're listening. Yeah. Hey, Talking to somebody. <laughs> she knows she uh, is. I know <laughs> hey. Yeah. Shout out to the bootleggers who supply my shit. Uh, Fans on to find on my Sunday. shit. And to them niggas listening but won't buy my shit. They catch me in the street and wanna ride my Yeah, all right. That is uh, track number 12, The Autograph. What did you think about that one, Dad? I enjoyed that song. It was a good song. Mm -hmm. Nice beat. Uh, the drums was just, uh, the drum session was real good. I like that. Um, the lyrics, of course, he, he killed it again. Mm -hmm. He killed it again. So um, another good song Jake for J. Cole. Yeah, love that joint, The Autograph. Mm -hmm. I love his storytelling. So top tier. The way, yeah, it is. the way he uses three verses so well to tell the story is just it's tight. Man. What a guy. What a guy. Okay. Uh, this one is uh -oh. track 13. Timberland. This is produced by Timberland because it is a um, cover. It's another cover. Best Friend by uh, uh, Aaliyah is the cover, I think. I think it's that song. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. What's the sample? Oh, uh, yeah. Best Friends by Missy Elliott. Oh, okay. Featuring Aaliyah. Featuring Yeah. Okay. But yeah, uh, so just like kind of like the, um, he did the Mario Winans song. He did the uh, the uh, Erica Baidu song. Mm -hmm. so now he's going to do kind of the same thing, a little flip of this uh, popular Missy and Aaliyah song. Oh, okay. So here's track 13, Best Friend. I see your homegirl trying to sway you How you figure I would play you, would you? Look at that The same one that caught her nigga with some freak all in her She slept for a week and what she do? Double back
All right, that is Best Friend. What did you think about that one, Dad? Didn't expect that one. No? Nah, man, that was soulful. It was right. It was real um, catchy. Um, it just, it, nice tempo, everything. Mm-hmm. And lyrics, uh, the vocals and the harmonies. Yeah. Everything, man. That, that was, I, I didn't expect this. Yeah, that's an as- absolute banger off of here, uh, the way he just pretty much it's not even a sample he pretty much is doing like a cover of that original Mm. song because he doesn't really change the beat Mm -hmm. he just interjects himself on there right but keeps like he kept like missy's part in his hook and yeah it seemed he's singing on top of the the original hook too Mm -hmm. and sounds great i don't know how he pulled that off but that was fire i love that joint (laughs) yeah that was good i feel like you'd have to have like some specifics of that um File, I guess I don't know if he had the acapella and the vocals. Yeah, was, uh, yeah. Well, I don't know how he, you know, but I tell you what, yeah, that was excellent. He did great yeah, on there. That yeah, was excellent. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna go ahead and get to the next track. This track number fourteen is titled "Cost Me a Lot." Oh, cost him a lot. Yeah, you gotta talk about that. It must have cost him a real lot. Yeah, <laughs> and I feel like this is one of them joys where like J Cole doesn't always be flexing, but when he flex, he know how to flex. <laughs> wow. So here's J. Cole featuring J or produced by J. Cole. Cost me a lot. Okay. What can I do? <laughs> it's cost me a lot. Nigga, this shit right here, nigga. It's cost me a lot. Nigga, this shit right here. Shit, homie. It's cost me a lot. Shit, homie. It's cost me a lot. Nigga, this shit right here, nigga. It's cost me a lot. Nigga, this shit right here. It's cost me a lot. It's cost me a lot Just one of them days A nigga feel like flossing A stone cold stunner Bitch, I'm Steve Austin Cool as Drew Brees I'm blowing a few G's Just to hit them hoes Say that he's awesome He's awful Yeah, remember when you fronted on me Put up beside me in a big body And stunned HD It's cost me a lot (laughs) Big chains Big whips with wood grains It's cost me a lot my God, he is watch me, yeah. I'ma think someone might ride. It's cost me a lot. Life into the gas light. Cop the type of shit you couldn't get at half price. It's Look, but don't touch, lot. motherfucker, think twice. It's cost me a lot. Now, I don't love no material things, but I'm in love wow. with the feelings they bring. I got them like that. Beat is mad, yeah, that beat is crazy. If he couldn't sell him, so what that tell him, huh? My chain heavy and my bitches look very thorough. Must be the money like Dion with the Jerry curl. White brain call that motherfucker Larry Bird. I got him hanging on the A word. It's cost me a lot. I don't love no material thing, but I'm in love with the feeling they bring. I got me like, how you do that? Oh, that's a banger. Cost me a lot. What'd you think about that with that? Like I said, that was a mad beat, boy. That was nice. He he's just Yeah, he's flexing, dog. He he's definitely the man. Look, he started getting that's when he just started getting a little little taste of some money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, he's going crazy over here. He has so many uh <laughs> he has a lot of uh, bars on here. I G. love G.I. with the Jerry G.I. Yeah. with the Jerry Curl. Uh, you kind of laughed at the Waka Faka Flame yeah. line. Uh, Waka Faka Flame was like a popular like trap rapper around the time. Uh-huh. And, you know, the, the the trap guys, you know, they walk around and got a bunch of chains and stuff. So he <laughs> said, how am I supposed to shine without the proper bling? Remember when I did a show with Waka Faka Flame? Felt naked because the boy rocked about a thousand chains. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we rock a lot of ice because we got a lot of pain. That's yeah. 500 years of swelling. I'm trying to tell him. Like, so he's talking about the ice, you know, the deal with the pain and the, the swelling. For, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. You put the ice on something that's swollen. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> he's going right. crazy. Right. Jacob the jeweler cooling out of here, fellow. Uh, Jay put a stamp on a nigga but wouldn't mail him if he couldn't sell him. 
So oh, what that tell him? Oh my god, he went crazy. Anyway, yeah, he's calls. I'm telling you, dude, that's just calls different, man. He just make your mind explode. Oh, he said, oh, this, explode. <laughs> this bar uh, <laughs> must be the money, like Dion with the Jerry that's curl. I'll start laughing at that one. Yeah. White range, call that. J- call it Larry Bird. Uh, White range. White range. Yeah, Larry Bird. <laughs> that's hard. Uh, that, yeah, that's what I when I first saw it, I was like, "Whoa!" Like a white Range Rover, You're but right. white range, like a white guy that can shoot from range. range yeah, <laughs> stop playing. That's hard. <laughs> okay. Anyway, 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 we'll get to the next track. This is premeditated murder. Oh my goodness! All right, this is track fifteen, premeditated murder, produced by J Cole. Yeah, hey. Mm. Hey. Mm. Yeah, am I changing right before your eyes? <laughs> Becoming someone you don't recognize. As if I was the skies. I'm on that shit as if I was the flies. I'm touching skies, no puffin' lies. Many songs that I made in my bedroom and shit. <laughs> don't finally get a nigga leg room in the whip. Knew I would kill the game, premeditated murder. So if it comes out, I made the best man win. No sweat like a headband. Where I'm from, from, if you ever seen what I seen. Okay. Hey, you know it can't get no better for me. No, it can't Go on, get bro. no better for me. He's going to croon a little bit. Yeah. If you ever seen what I seen. No, it can't get no better for me. No, it can't get no better for me. Yeah, I'ma kill the king and invite witnesses. No penalty, I'm giving life sentences. Uh-oh. Like keep grinding, boy, your life can change in one year. And even a death, though, I'm never going hey, back. I'm from, wow. If you ever seen what I see, hey, you know it can't get no better for me. No, it can't get no, no better for me. me. Yeah. If you ever seen what I seen, I don't call. Hey, you know it can't get no better for me. No, it can't get no better for me. What it takes, man. And all the people that's counting on me, boy, won't you come down and down for me? Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. All right. Right, that is premeditated murder. What do you think about that one? I'm just reading this last line. I, I enjoyed this song, man, and I like that little hook. No, it can't get no better for me. Mm-hmm. No, it can't <laughs> get no better. So, um, and then this last um, verse here. Mm-hmm. What if I'm wrong? And I, and and I ain't got what it takes. Then all them people that was counting on me. Boy, won't you climb down the mountain for me? Dude's just like <laughs> spitting knowledge. Yeah, you know he he just giving you perspective. He get, did this. It was a good song. It almost sounds like he's unsure here. What if I'm wrong and I don't have what it takes? It's like he's kind of battling with himself, second guessing, second guessing himself at this point in his career because this is the point in his career. It's like. This is the make or break. Like you well, built, yeah. you built all this stuff on your own, and now you got that shot. What are you gonna do with it? Yeah. Well, his mind is going. He's he's going through a whole lot of transformation. He's going through a transformation, and that's a natural question to ask yourself mm-hmm. at this point, cause he's like right there between success and failure. Mm-hmm. And so, to me, it's like that's a natural that's a question to ask. Him. What if I'm wrong? Yeah. You know, it is cool. They yeah. just kind of express that though, and mm-hmm. you kind of hear that from someone that's like yeah right at that cusp yeah uh yeah premeditated murder that's another another one banger, of the joints on there that's a banger so yeah, that beat is so sick that beat is like oh that beat is so fire <laughs> ain't no more bangers on here man yeah. i heard that j cole's production on here is just like oh man it's man non-stop yeah he's, he's like crazy. shit i got <laughs> 
Plenty. Hey, he got, he got plenty in his tank. You For know, sure. this is just like you know he he ain't even cracked a quarter of the tank. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> you know what I mean, he's going crazy. All right, here's track number sixteen. Home for the holidays, produced by J Cole. All right. Friday night lights again. No. Nice horns. Yeah. Nice section. Man. It's nice. Of a young and dreaming, the whole yeah, got, got a nice beat. And yeah, got for sure. Today they this got beat is the crazy. Damn, don't be some niggas missing when you fly back. That piano on these horns, they just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, buddy, that we <laughs> messing with, with you. Boy. Chick, and a fly yeah, back yeah, and a gold chain. Caught him on the merc trying mm-hmm. to buy crack. Damn, homie. Shit. In high school, you was the man, homie. What the fuck happened to you? Used to beat niggas down at the buses at the school. Now you looking like a motherfucking fool. I'll be home for the holidays. <laughs> you see me better holler at me. I gotta get up out the city for it. Try to trap me. I gotta leave. I wish I could stay. But I'll be home for the holidays. Yeah. yeah. Story about some puppy love. But at the time, boy, I was feeling like this must be love. Although now I'm on my grown shit. Uh-huh. She had to tell a nigga still get homesick. I was fresh up off a scholarship. Dressed like a black man in college shit. Yeah. Got a little knowledge, now I'm following the politics. But I still gotta holler at my old chick. So sweet, so thick. Girl, pick up your phone. It's me. She's coming. Like a mountain. He's coming. Pick up the phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Back. laughs> When I get home, girl, it's on. You ain't gonna need your belt or your pants or your drawers. Then we hit the rewind. Just don't give it up in the meantime. Hey, I'll be home for the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get up out the city for it. Try to trap me. I gotta leave. I wish I could stay. But I'll be home for the holidays. Yeah. And to those that I used to know from way before, keep your head up. Come, let's get this bread up. Girl, I gotta go. I wish I could stay. Nah, you know. <laughs> you know I'm really just on them school days. I know, and he never made the piano work. We got in school, but who gon' pay our tuition, man? These niggas crazy. One year cost about same as Mercedes. Oh, Four my years cost white crib and a baby. Hey, maybe the same for me. Gotta wait and see. I'm and coming I'll be home for the holidays. Yeah. When you see me, better holler at me. I gotta get up out the city for it. Try to trap me. I gotta yeah. leave. I wish I could stay. Nice. I'll be home for the holidays. This is nice. Hey, yeah. And to those that I used to know from way before, keep your head up. Come, let's get this bread up. Girl, I gotta Don't go. get this bread up. Stay. But I'm coming home for the holidays. Ooh. Oh, man. Uh, Home for the holidays. What do you think about that one, Dad? I like the way he ended that. Did you hear all that going on in, at the end of the song? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like the beat. I like the. Um, it was just. It was just uh, upbeat, uh, fun, and you know. Uh, He's just talking about different things about you know his the, what he expects when he gets home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he told the girl he's gonna be on the way, and then and then trouble went da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> like like, like he, announcing yeah. his, his arrival. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> like he's really a funny. king coming into his court or something. You know, that was crazy, man. That was good though. I yeah. enjoyed it. That so. beat is so far. <laughs> just is. love the chords, <laughs> love the trumpet, love just like. And you know, a lot of these beats, uh, J. Cole got really popular on college campuses. He spoke to college, you know, a lot of these bars that he's he's relating to college students. He mm. went to college, right. he says things like home for the holidays. It's like, you know, yep, that's it's right. It's like something a college student mm-hmm. would go through. Mm-hmm. And even in the beats, it almost sounds like he puts in like this percussion and and instrumentation to sound like college bands. Yeah, yeah. He uses a lot of that. Good point. Yeah, think, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're he right. connected. He he did that really well, just like his style. <laughs> it connected really well on that level. And I, um, yeah. I also wanted to say, I think this beat sounds very Kanye. This this particular beat remo- reminds me of um, uh, Touch the Sky. That, that, oh, okay. with, that, with that horn section this kind of reminds me of that oh okay cool cool maybe it was Kanye influence yeah J. Cole has definitely got a lot of but all those guys Cole Kendrick Drake that's who they look up to for sure 
cool. All right, we'll go ahead. That's move. such a cool song. Fun song. Yeah, I love that. Home for the Holiday. Oh, man, that's a good one. For sure, that's a standout. All right, we'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number 17. It is titled Love Me Not. Uh-oh. And uh, this one is produced by J. Cole. Okay. Here's track 17, Love Me Not. Hey. 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 Yeah. Mm. It's like she loves me. She loves me. I know you wonder why I had to choose you. I don't wanna take you for granted or abuse you. Uh, so I'ma keep it honest, I think it's a little ironic. If I hit another chick, it's gonna bruise you. Mm-hmm. Staring out the window what is plain. Thinking if it crash, I never see your ass again. Shit. Wouldn't that be a shame? Cause look at all the shit we overcame. Made it through the flame and never got cremated. I made it to uh. the fame and never got too <laughs> jaded. All them other couples we fuck with secretly hated. Flash forward, it's been years. We like a book, it's too easy to read my ass. Unhappy stress <laughs> yelling, don't mislead my ass. I mean, I make it so easy to please my ass. The shoe was on the other foot and you would leave my ass. Mm. True that. True that. True my that. song all on the radio. Who, Who that? that? Am I so far gone? Used to see both sides like the mohawk on. <laughs> now I know you wonder why this phone see lock on. Like All this time mohawk. that I've been with you, you ain't used to do that. Wait. I loved your ass way before. All right, that is track number 17, Love Me Not. What do you think about that one, Dad? I like that song. It had an old school feel, you know, to mm-hmm. me. Uh, the melody and the beat and, the you know, stuff like that. Uh, Good song. Yeah, great. A- another showcase of Cole's excellent storytelling. Uh, this beat wasn't my favorite beat on here. Um, it does sample a pretty recognizable song. So it's like rec- instantly recognizable. I don't know. It's just not my favorite beat on here. He's got so many great, great, great beats that I feel like this yeah. is just a okay beat. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, because it's already like, because you already know that song. Yeah, but then he puts that. Yeah, you know, it kind of like, you know, it kind of puts it like a little stop and start kind of like feel to it. It just gave it a nice texture. It was just to me, I I I enjoyed it. I didn't dislike the beat. I just don't think it's like. One of the best beats on here. Okay. Yeah, but um, yeah, we'll go ahead and move into story chapter chapter story <laughs> track eighteen. This is titled "See the World," and it's produced by J Cole. Okay. See the world. Isn't also elite. Elite it has a pro- production credit on here as well. Elite. Elite. Have I seen elite before? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Friday night. Friday night lights been showing up quite a bit. That's the name of the out. That's the name of the mixtape. I mean, uh, um, oh, I, you know what I was thinking? That was over on the side with the pro- <laughs> producers. Oh, you thought it was the, the producer? producer? The producer. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. my bad. <laughs> I kept on seeing that front end. Oh, yeah, the front end. And this, the name, this is the name of the album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. The, the, uh, not, not the album. The mixtape. Mix tape, correct. All right. Yeah. All right. Track 18, Sea World. Sea World? Yeah. Like Sea World. Is in C, mm-hmm. and is in C. Right. Yeah, I think it's yeah playing off of that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. C World. Here we go. This hey. is Shania Davis. Last seen wearing a blue sleep shirt and pink underwear. The search for the little girl is now in yeah. its eleventh hour in hey. and there are some disturbing oh, new details. Nah. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. That came in. Nice. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I ain't ready yet. I like the way you take yeah. that. Hey, getting higher than the solar lips yeah. tonight. And to the ones that kid, I hope you burn and fucking coward. Ain't gotta tell them go to hell. Cause that's the shit that make the mother niggas sick in jail. So you gon' feel it. Travel the world, reppin' the city, no, I'm gon' kill it. But yet a nigga ain't got a clue how I'm gon' deal with all my niggas gone. Hope you in a better place. If I wow. make it, I holla see world. <laughs> you know good. Hey, you see world. You know good. Uh, uh, no matter how I hate 
flashbacks and rewinds. Can't escape the pain that be trapped in my mind. Wow. You're no good. You're no good. Uh, I got a chip on my shoulder the size of a golden nugget. The industry <laughs> overlooked me for that. I'll be holding grudges. Wouldn't take a chance right. on me. Suddenly it's, oh, you love it. Let's get a cold feature. That's going to put you over budget now. Picture being broke without no pot to piss in And suddenly your idols is your competition Used to be like God to me Slowly losing my religion As these notes from my composition oh. Turn the compositions then And by the state You see where Yeah hey, You're no good I like this chord Hey, you see where You see where You're no good uh, uh, No matter how I hate it No matter how I hate it No matter how I hate flashbacks and rewinds can't escape the pain that be trapped in my mind. Make you see world. You're no good. Yeah. That's a gangster shit. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Wow. charged with the unthinkable. You see world. That's what I'm saying, gangster, man. You know see world. All right, that's track number 18, Sea World. What do you think about that one, Dad? I enjoyed that song, man. I thought it was hard hitting to mm -hmm. me. I enjoyed it. And uh um the 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 instruments in the in the background was you know the it was hitting over some real high highs, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh I like that that uh emphasis that sample on was it. dope, yeah. Yeah. Um and the story was is uh heart heart wrenching. Yeah, super sad story about this Shania Davis girl from his hometown in Fayetteville, but uh that does actually kind of start a trend in J. Cole's music. He's always very connected to the local stories of, of pain and, and things that happen in his hometown. Mm -hmm. And he keeps that theme throughout his music. He's always paying homage and mentioning these young people that lose their lives and just shining a light on these stories of people that would normally just, just go forgotten. Be swept up under yeah. the rug. Yeah, you never hear about it. I mm -hmm. get it. So uh, I think that's a really, really cool thing that he does. Uh, by mentioning these people so that, you know, their stories live on and and exactly are told. Uh, but yeah, cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number 19. It's titled Farewell. It's produced by J. Cole. All right. Yeah, farewell. Hmm? Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, uh, uh, uh. Farewell. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, all my niggas, farewell. Look, some niggas let they dirt out, some just keep it all in them. Say the things about me that they never told me to my face. Huh. I was loved, I was hated, just a nigga with a dream. I'm a liar, I was high. Yeah, hey, farewell. Yeah, yeah. If I should die, Lord, this here is my will. Reincarnated nigga, send me right back to the Ville. Let me relive my younger days just once oh again. Reenact my memories from every friend to every sin. Keep wow. the demons buried in my closet. But yet I put in work like a deposit on my bank account. My eyes lit while I think about my childhood. Now I'm blanking out. Those were truly my best days. The only thing I had to stress was how the hell to get laid. Gradually turned into me stressing how the hell to get paid. Been making songs so long. Now how the hell they get played? Oh, yeah, okay, the I'm instrumental in his I guess the far oh, sick late, but yet I can't forget so my past. He's gone, man. He's, he's killed. Good grades, but A's can't stop straight, so pray for me. A's can't Boy, stop straight. Stop. But hey, don't wait for me, because I'm trying to cheat them. She had to bury my ass. You know the cliche, life's a bitch. Well, I'm going to marry that ass and sign a prenup. Think back to when we told the skate and rink up. Rapping and we scrapping. We got over and hit the team club. Gave me wow. mugs and niggas, but we went to all the girls. Then we went back to the crib thinking we had saw the world. No <laughs> Wow.
What do you think about that one, Dad? Hey, they gave me. It's one of them kind of songs that remind me like I'm in a movie scene or something like that. You mm-hmm. know. Yeah, but it was it was a good song. Um, I liked it. I liked the uh, the whole theme of the song. I liked the the rapping on the song. Uh, as far as beat wise, the music was just like incredible. I mean, so it was good. just really really good. So yeah, that, I was saying that beat is so good. Yeah. It's good. That's a, that was a, no, another another one, and I think uh, this is another one where it just shows you like when you're the producer and the rapper, you can like make the beat do certain things according to what you're rapping about right. and when you're rapping. Like the way he brings like took the beat out for that second verse, mm-hmm. then brings it in slowly mm-hmm. to build up as he's rapping. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. this is like oh he, he had he had a. Um, he already had in his mind and uh, an impression in his mind what he wanted to do with this song. Exactly. <laughs> I think they can, uh, somebody that produces and records and writes mm-hmm. and raps can just envision the song as a whole like no one else right. can. That's true. Like, I, yeah. Th- that rise in tone and that building and that, that, that. But you know what? Everybody can't do that. No, that is very, like a, very, very, very few people can do that. That is this a, guy, man. He's an alien. <laughs> he's like, he's, he's from somewhere else. He's not. He's not a human. Pretty much. I, yeah, I, I agree. This is one of the. This is another standout for me. Farewell is just such a good outro Ooh, track. What is it? A standout? Honestly, there's <laughs> like right, but that that's definitely one of the. Oh man, that and again when we when when I'm hearing this at the time, I'm just like. What? Yeah, but you said, you know, you said that was this one was a standout, but the song for that and the song for that, that. Nah, not everyone, but yeah. like definitely. But there's the one like, you did, I know the one you didn't like that I thought sound old school, like kind of like you didn't care for one? that one as yeah. much as the Please others. Love me not. Yeah, but yeah, uh, but yeah, no, I absolutely love this mixtape, and I was saying mm-hmm. like when I'm when real time hearing this, mm-hmm. it's just like. <laughs> this dude is about to be crazy because he's so new at this right. time. It's just like, right? Oh no, this was a breath of fresh air. <laughs> it was so cool. All right, so there's also a bonus track on here. This is like an actual bonus track, uh, not like a deluxe. Not they, it's this thing they do now. Right, right. They drop an album and then a week later they drop a deluxe. With right, like six new tracks. But anyway, this is titled "Looking for Trouble." And this was a track that um, Kanye West was doing his Good Fridays thing, where he was dropping, he yeah. was leading up to his album, he was dropping a new song every Friday. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this particular one was uh, had J. Cole on it, and also had Pusha T, Sahi the Prince, Big oh. Sean, and J. Cole. Okay. So this is Looking for Trouble, produced by Kanye West, and this is a bonus track on uh, Friday Night Lights. All so right. this is one of them posse cuts. You got all these guys on it, Pusha, Sci High, Big Shaw, J. Cole. All three of these guys are signed to good music with Kanye West, mm-hmm. except for J. Cole. But um All right, so you got all these all stars on here sometime, man. They, they put a bunch of all stars on, and you thinking, oh my God, all these all stars, this is gonna be fantastic, and it just be like generic. I could just say that Good Fridays, when that was happening, was such a good time, man. We were so excited to get these Kanye tracks. Every yeah. a brand new Yay track every Friday, every Friday. for like what? <laughs> like, oh, it was such a cool like Christmas every man, Friday. Man, it was huh? like freaking Christmas. It was like, what is going on? This is awesome. Okay, uh, track thirteen or track twenty, bonus track, looking for trouble. All right. I'm gonna ask you whose verse was the best too. Okay. We have gang pusher. I can almost I can what almost tell who's gonna be at the top. We're gonna see. Yes. All I see is he won on. roses, drug dealer poses, <laughs> shoveling that devil's angel up they noses. Shout out to shower posse gone. I was push a T. Oh uh, yeah. I was expecting a little bit more from that. Okay, okay. 
bitches modeling. Take off that Givenchy and let's get raunchy. I had your face looking all capped and crunchy. The devil stay <laughs> testing. Cause when you chase the pussy, it's a Stupid. sin. But if it falls in your lap, it's a blessing. Soon as I got salad, I spend it all on dressing. French to be exact, that bar. Niggas and crooks in my huddle. They cooking, I smuggle. Got 20 pounds of cushion in the duffel. So I'm running through them circles. Mm. Boy, I'm looking like knuckles. Look at my knuckles. Got the hooking cause niggas was looking. I'm taking some whooping. So trust me, dog. I'm What's my boy's name again? He got the number one spot right now. So far, yeah. All right, we got Big Sean up next. All right. I'm in. That no smoke sack roller motherfucker ounces. Marijuana mountains, drinks not pronouncing. Three chains on, I don't need no bounces. Nothing less than a G stash to my trousers. New double D smashed in the blouses. Fuck a hotel, my nigga, we rent houses. Ah, he went a M and M on the nigga. I'm just a West Side lover. I leave females in my sheets and all my feelings in a rubber. This is showtime, showtime. Boy, I hope you said the DVR. Stacking money face to face. This shit look like CPR. Yeah, inviting me a seat to sit at the throne. So now I'm slapping like your ass just finished the poem. Does he sound like Ye J or Jizzy Drake? Meanwhile, I'm chilling with all these niggas, counting all this money. You ain't consider yourself lucky to see a legend before the prime, a killer before the crime, a big before the dime. Greet me with a middle finger when you see me. It's cool, cause I can't see your ass from this side of the TV, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, all right. I'll wait, I'll wait. That was Sean. Let's be Sean. Yeah. Right. Hey, cold world, make wailing one now. You outside of heaven's gate, fronting like you know someone. Talking hard, but y'all still ain't push me. They say you are what you eat, and I still ain't push. Fuck it, everybody can get it. When it is hot, everybody's a critic. But when you're this high, everybody a midget All this mean mugging from niggas that mean nothing Could it be my position is one that you dreamed up Went from quarter to broke to half past rich With my bad ass bitch And you don't want no problems on some math class shit So check the young genius out All right, that is the bonus track, track number 20, Looking for Trouble, featuring Sahai, Kanye, Dre, uh, Big Sean, and J. Cole. What do you think about that one, Dad? I mean, that was a, that was a good, uh, what you call, uh, battle. Yeah. Okay. I almost had my man made up in the middle <laughs> until I heard Cole. <laughs> until I heard Cole in it. Yeah. And I was like, Cole got no one spot. Yeah. <laughs> I think Big uh, uh, Sean mm -hmm. got the number two spot. Okay. I think uh, Sci High, Sci -High got, got the, the number three. Yeah. And now I ain't going there, you know, whatever comes up underneath it. Kai and Pusha, they was just kind of yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kai has some good lines. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to go. I got to go cold just because he had the last verse. It was the most epic. They dropped a beat. But the thing about it, they took all the music away near yeah, the end, man. And he beat. just... He just kept snapping. Ooh. Yeah, I got to give that to Cole. Yeah. Then I'm going to go second. I'm going to go Sci High. Then Big Sean. I like Big Sean because he gave me a... a, a it sounded like an Eminem kind of feel to Oh, uh, yeah. He you came out I mean? the gate rapping fast, yeah, for sure. That, that's what I like. So, yeah. <laughs> but I, I get it. It, it. it could be interchangeable. Yeah, yeah, I could have went either way. For with sure. Those. Yeah. Well, yeah. Glad to play that for you. That concludes <laughs> uh, Friday Night Lights, uh, J. Cole's third uh, official mixtape. What do you think about the uh, album as a whole? And um... Absolutely. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was great. 
such a good good mix. Such good. a good mixtape. That this mixtape is absolutely legendary. Like mm -hmm. I'm putting this if if anybody was like, hey, name your top three mixtapes of all time. If this is in there, I'm not arguing with you. Yeah. This is one of the greatest mixtapes of all time. So Well, you needed this. <laughs> yeah. Well, in, re in in when we look back at our last yeah, I'll, reaction, I, I, I yeah, I'm glad to have some good rap, some <laughs> some some rap, more rapping. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. So we got down to dig down into this one. And yeah, we had to go get in the crates. Yeah, yeah. The, the, that that the, the rapping on here is just like oh. ten out of ten. Too yeah. so good, yeah, so good. Yeah, like oh, you remember uh, that Kevin Hart um on stage in Madison Square Garden, and he said, "Put that." Put the fire! Oh. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. He had to do that on over every yeah. one of his songs. No. Do the fire! Yeah, you that's know? a fact. <laughs> Nothing but bangers on here. So yeah. cool. I'm glad uh, that you enjoyed that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, drop a comment. Let us know what we should react to next. Shout out to the sponsor of this video, Bite. Bite. Uh, really appreciate your support. And if you want to improve your smile with Bite, use the link in the description. And use code bridging the gap twenty one at checkout for eighty percent off of your impression kit. Um, Fixing my gap, bridging my dad's gap yeah. one day at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, thank you so much to all of our patrons as well. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our Patreon so you can enter the uh, free vinyl record giveaway that we'll do every month. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.